Hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We are going to continue our journey in pausing at and relishing at every uh, new Chinese expressions a day. I mean, they are not, not new. They have been there for hundreds, if not thousands of years. But they are the set uh, expressions that have been used uh, by a large population of Chinese and therefore they uh, must be you know have some merit of them to that uh, that they become a set phrases so yesterday we talked about nepotism expressed in the domestic animals the chickens and dogs they are going to rise up to heaven like they are, they are going to become powerful figures as well uh, once you uh, the the house head of the household become uh, like a promoter promoted all of a sudden get a bigger stage and even they are just nothing but domestic animals uh, or your pet and I mean Jicha actually here symbolize your, your buddies like they are not really outstanding individuals but simply because they know you they you have they have your trust or yeah they have your trust so they earn the ticket to you know be a power figure themselves on their own way okay so here uh and continue with that but a very uh, different meaning from yesterday we have ji quan bu ming again here uh, the do domestic animals chickens and dogs they representing people in your lives uh, who may not be the major decision maker but definitely they are the noise maker so if your household domestic household are not at peace things are not coming along uh, in the sense of um uh, uh, you know, everybody can live in harmony, uh, but here is when they are not, um, then it will be uh, um, so instead of saying messy or noisy, we use because apparently is the state we want to be, but it's a negation of that. So supposedly a household, should, if running smoothly, it should be quiet everybody at ease there's no eruptive forces <laughs> there's no drama right and here is booming is on the contrary to that not as eat or peace okay again g is this bird on the right side just a visual representation of the bird and the left side is slavery we have this muscle figure that means this person not necessarily means they are bodybuilder kind of a muscle but because they are humans mostly used for their muscles, not their brains, they are labor force. And then um, they are in chains. So this is definitely kind of slavery. And they, these are the three finger hand symbol kind of control that. Slavery, chicken and chicken, I mean, bird in slavery is the definition of chicken. What an insight from the language creators, okay? And dogs is, almost like human leg instead of four leg two leg human leg is kind of a partial human so i guess they can sort of understand and read our expressions and uh, probably sympathize <laughs> in any case it's always feedback positive feedback from the dog companions right so dogs uh chickens and then they are not at ease. So this not it came from this bird image as well, uh, going upward toward the sky and refusing to come down to earth. That's the negation came from. We don't know. I'm still, I'm just reciting what the scholars would explain um, this word is. I haven't discovered for me, like how to make sense of that. Um, but this is negation. It's very commonly used. There are a bunch of different characters in Chinese for negation, uh, but this is one of them most commonly used, and probably because commonly used, probably because it's a simple strokes. You don't have to write a, a, a ton of things. It it means no, are not happening, uh, and so peace is the the ideal state, right? Everybody at ease. Everybody have a common understanding and a common cadence of things, right? And, and when it's not at ease, like people are at odds at each other, right? And this new came from this, uh, it's almost hexagon. Is it not a hexagon? Um, six corner size shape, like in the middle. 
right? And then it got edges on the end. Um, Contents of some scholars, that means a, a kind of a container or storage because it's a closed space in, in the middle. You rarely see, well, I guess it cannot say rarely because this is a closed space. These two, four, three are closed space, but closed space uh, structure in, in this you know, 2D world as a representation of reality, um, it, it got some meaning. Over here is a closed rings or chains. Uh, here is a depicting of the head of the bird. And over here is probably the space, like a close, how close that is, that bird to the sky, right? The, the, depicting the spacing sense. And over here, this spacing sense is, okay, it's an enclosed space. And um, yeah, some say it's a storage for food or something. Some imagine it to be a safe, like elaborate a six corner um, safe to storage something precious, right? Um, well, I would like to view it as, um, it's imagine ourselves, like put our human nature to that. So six size, kind of like a representing like human, we have multiple facets ourselves, right? Um, and then we try to contain our inner self in that boundary, but occasionally <laughs> we flare out, have spiky corners over there. Um, so this ease came from if the lid, all the lids or all the flares are contained, things are... Um, like in one unit, like you self-contained of whatever the inner turmoils over there within. And then that's the, at least the, the appearance, like a behavioral level of definition of at ease, like at least on the surface, that's observable, easing gesture, right? Things are contained, no lid went off. There's no explosives <laughs> over there. So that's new. The, the goal is to people to be always self-contained. There's nothing going off, right? Um, and the boot means simply <laughs> means the negation of that. It's like do huh? a lot of things are happening. The chickens and dogs are basically are domestic, like almost like a kids or wives, or because domestic life in ancient times, the Chinese, the language users of of Back then, men of a certain status, of a certain size of household, I mean, they, they didn't even have just one wife. Occasionally, it's like it depends on how much wealth you have, right? But could have multiple wives. And imagine one man against multiple wives. And if things are not in order, not in peace, imagine that, okay? That's those... Uh, men got themselves into uh, probably uh, things were you know quite different back then but in any case the g and chen not necessarily mean domestic animals it could mean household like people in your household who are not the major powers or the decision makers or the head of the household but who definitely have a voice and they are not afraid to voice out their discontent or you know, something uh, bothering them. So here, Ji Quan Bu Ning is when I searched for this phrase, it came out as if it's chicken, in this case, it's rooster against a puppy, right? As if it's a, it's a rooster, the chicken dog face off each other. But actually over here, the, the, the original meaning of Ji Quan, Ji Quan simply means either your best, best buddies or people who are close to you within your household. So it could mean multiple wives or multiple children. Um, yeah, imagine a rich man, right? Have wives and now ex, ex wives and many, many ex wives, many, many ex wives, children, right? With a current wife, that kind of situation. Uh, if the man did not handle it well, uh, you know, things can go really ugly. So that's the kind of a ji quan bu ning. It not necessarily means ji against the quan, but here ji quan, both of them, like they, they have their voice, they are part of your life and they are not at peace. 
So that's the kind of domestic restlessness. <laughs> okay, I hope everybody have the new with them um, and things are running smoothly. Uh, we don't have to face that. Uh, but a as a as an expression, it's, a, it's sort of like a funny expression because we're using animals to symbolize the peoples in our lives. And we're describing the status of, um, because mo mo most of the time, I guess, at least on the appearance, uh, people are not that vocal. But I guess when people do vocalize, it is <laughs> it is the end of peace. So I wish everybody have peace. Um, all right, catch into the currency of thinking. Bye. One more today. Sophie. See you another day.